Here are some of the things that you should do if you want to get an A star in A-level maths. Master the hardest topics. In my opinion, this is second year integration. You might find other things more difficult. For me as well, definitely mechanics. Whatever it is that you find most difficult, you need to master and you need to focus doing practice questions on that as much as you hate it. Honestly, the best way of getting better at things is to just keep doing practice papers. I think I did every single integration by parts. Textbook question from multiple exam boards. Did every single one because I wanted to know how to do it. To know how to do these hard topics, you can't just be like, oh, well, I don't understand one topic, like, surely it'll be fine. It won't be fine because then they're going to feed all the topics into it. Have a question, they might want you to use algebraic fractions and then integrate it. You don't know how to do algebraic fractions, you can't do the rest of the question. So many things linked together, you need to understand it, you need to understand the links between topics, integration, differentiation, you know this can be applied in mechanics, you need to understand these links, it's like a network. Everything is related. Most things are related to each other. You just need to understand the links and then if you understand the links then the problem solving in the exam questions is going to be so much easier. Keep notes on how to do processes, like how do you do specific things. Let's say you're in a classroom and you're learning how to work out the equation of a trajectory. I hate it, mechanics. You don't want to learn it like from the teacher telling it to you on the whiteboard and then just go and do practice paper questions. You want to come to revise it and you're going to be like, what is this? So as the teacher is teaching it. View the notes that you're making as you trying to reteach your future self. Make it a useful resource for revision. So when you come back to your notes on this topic, you're going to understand how to do it again. Not just going to be loads of equations flying around. And if it is just equations flying around, if you haven't described what you're doing, it's not going to make any sense. Make sure your calculator is in the right mode. There are so many marks from this. Make sure it's in degrees or radians correct for the actual question. Make sure you know the calculator like the back of your hand as well. Speaking of calculator, if you can, I will get a graphing calculator. It's not going to help you get many more marks in the exam. The only thing that it's good for is the statistics part of the course. I might be a little bit biased in saying this because I did do A-level statistics as well. I found that doing things like the binomial and the normal distribution so much easier on the graphing calculator. I don't know. I found it easier. If you can get your hands on one, give it a go, see how you feel about it. I found like that was more helpful. And also know that if you have one of those calculators in the exam, it's going to be put in a mode where you can't access the memory. So like, don't get it if you're like intending to cheat in your A-levels because it's just not going to work. So I guess what I'm trying to say, I personally found the statistics like elements that you could do on a class quiz on the CG50. I found it just easier and quicker. You might not, really not that deep, and it might not be worth splurging out. If you like this video, then comment what subject you want to see next and follow for more A-level tips.